Okay, thank you. It is a common human experience for the passage of time to go faster than normal for some people at certain times. Often, when we're having fun, time seems to go by in a blink. And almost universally, we feel that time speeds up as we get older. But what is causing this speed up of time? The commonly accepted wisdom is that our perception of time is distorted due to our psychology, as seen in numerous research papers. But consider just these next two factor, uh, papers <coughs> that look specifically at the hedonistic or fun factor. One argues that time flies when you're having fun, and yet the next one argues that you're having fun when time flies. This is a complete contradiction, and from the world of psychology, and as an engineer, contradiction confuses me, so I'm just gonna ignore psychology. Instead, I propose that our brains are just fine, but instead, time itself is warped. My senescent, or old people, relativity theory is that humans are able to warp space-time and change the speed of light. By locally reducing the speed of light, humans increase their local time dilation factor. <coughs> this is done, of course, from relativity. As you, I'm sure, all remember, the equation for the Lorentz coordinate transformation of time under Einstein's special relativity shown here shows that as you get closer to the speed of light, the time dilation increases. The evidence supporting this new theory is everywhere. First is the passage of time. It is clear that despite moving nowhere near the speed of light, senior citizens tend to perceive time as moving faster the older they get. For example, fashion and clothing changes almost every year, yet senior citizens, even if they were fashionable in their youth, often wear outdated fashion. It is clear that the changes in fashion are simply happening too fast for them to appreciate. And it gets worse. My grandfather once said that Kids today move in together before they even know each other. If true, this implies my grandfather was actually traveling faster than the speed of light, <laughs> reversing the apparent order of cause and effect. <laughs> in addition to time dilation, the mass of an object also increases as you get closer to the speed of light. This relativistic mass increase effect explains why, when you were a small child, you always struggled to push grandpa out of his comfy chair. He was warping space-time. <laughs> it also explains why, as we age, <coughs> excuse me, the amount of energy required to get out of the couch becomes infinite, <clears throat> making motion both tiring and liable to cause local black hole creation. <laughs> Finally, for decades, it has been noted that women of a certain age have hair that appears blue. The most common explanation is that in the past, a blue-toned dye was used to counteract the yellowing of hair that sometimes occurs in old age. This seems implausible because I can't think of a physics equation to describe it. However, <laughs> particles traveling faster than light are known to emit a bluish radiation called Cherenkov radiation. These senior women don't have a bad dye job. The world has a bad understanding of the behavior of charged particles in a dielectric medium. <laughs> This abundance of proof now leads us to the question, who cares? <laughs> what are we supposed to do with all this new science? Well, physicists are always looking for ways to test relativity, but they've got that pretty well nailed down. But it occurs to me that controlling time could have immediate payoffs. And no, I mean, actually, a really big payoff. We can create a warped space-time bubble. As any Star Trek fan will tell you, this bubble will allow you to travel faster than light, opening up the stars to humanity. Our faster than light spaceship will need to be ringed with senior citizens in order to create this space-time bubble. <laughs> we'll accomplish this by lining the perimeter of the ship with bingo halls, <laughs> Denny's restaurants, and line dancing studios. The path to the stars is now open. In conclusion, as children, we're taught to value our elders, and now we finally see the wisdom in those teachings. <laughs> the value of our elders is that they are cheaper than fusion. Thank you.